we'll talk about how you can double your account while trading just an hour a day. Welcome to the Trading with Venus podcast, where we help you establish strong trading habits, generate consistent profits, and create the lifestyle you desire for yourself and your family. Now your host, Raman Gill. Hi, this is Raman. Earlier this year, I did a 90-day challenge where I doubled my account. One of the things I wanted to share with you today was that I was able to do this while trading only an hour a day. And today I wanted to share with you how I did it so that you can replicate this process as well. One thing I've realized is that a lot of people over trade. I've seen traders sit in front of their charts and just take trade after trade after trade. This is one thing that I have noticed is a recipe for disaster. I have done that myself where I have sat in front of the computer and I just kept on taking trades because I kept seeing trade setups. Whether they were there or not, I saw them and I thought they were supposed to be taken, but that is not the case. So you want to make sure that you do not sit in front of charts all day long. What happens when we are trading in this way is that our mindset really goes down the toilet. We're not able to process information properly because our mind is tired. That's why we keep seeing things that are not even there. Instead, what you want to do is to take a step back and really just spend time on preparation. Preparation is the key to success. So if you know what's going to come, you can then take advantage of the opportunity when it shows up. So a key thing to keep in mind when you want to trade less or only spend about an hour a day trading is that you are going to take that hour and actually spend that on preparing to trade the markets. This is like any successful athlete does. They spend more time in the practice than they do in the tournament itself. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to take that time and we want to spend it wisely. A lot of people have come to me and talked about how they have full-time jobs and they want, want to trade on the side or they have other obligations where they cannot spend time in front of the computer, which is actually a great thing. Even though it sounds a little counterproductive, it is actually not. It's very important to have something else going on in your life so that you are not spending all this time in front of the charts and taking excessive trades. So the one hour that you have, you will spend 45 minutes of that in actually preparing for the market. So you want to look at what pairs do you want to trade? What is the market direction for each pair that you are trading? What happened during the day? And what do you expect to happen the following day? What kind of news are coming out? Is there overall event going on? Is a central bank raising rates? Um, are they cutting jobs? What's going on in the markets? What are, what are equity markets doing? And what are other markets doing that may have an impact on our trading? So you really want to understand the overall nature of what's going on in the market. Is there a sentiment driven move that we could take advantage of? Or is there a big announcement coming up that could derail our trading? Those are some of the things that we need to keep in mind. So once you have a good idea of what's going on in the market, now you want to look at your charts and you want to look at what kind of trade setups are present. What are the three most important pairs that you think will move the following day? And those are the ones you want to look at in order to take trades. And then also watch your position size. You do not want to take on too much risk because that's another thing that can derail your trading as well because you may have a great trade, but then you take excessive risk and give it all back. Not only do you give it all back, but you actually lose more money than you have made. We do not want to do that as well. So when you're looking at creating your trade plan and doing your preparation, you do want to look at what trades to take, also the position size that you want to take. And then once you have the trade set up, you can enter the trade. Now you do want to give yourself a bigger stop loss in this case, because you will be leaving the trades to run. Because we're leaving the trades to run and we're not tinkering with them, we do need to give a wider stop loss. Now, in order to maintain your risk ratio, you do have to then take your position size down. Otherwise, this can really create problems for you. 
So larger stop loss, but smaller position size. That way you're managing your risk properly. And then also set up your profit target at this point, because while you're sleeping, the profit target could get hit and you want to make sure there's a profit target set up so that when the market goes in your direction, you're able to capture that profit. There will be times when your profit target does not get hit. So you may be sitting in that trade for a couple of days. During that time, all you're doing is looking at your charts and just watching to see if the market is going to continue moving in your direction or is it going to reverse directions or pull back. If it does that, this is the time to remove your trade and take your profit. Sometimes the profit may not be as big as you would like it to be. However, that is the nature of markets. When you're trading over a little bit longer time frame, over a day or a couple of days, you want to just make sure that you keep an eye on the trade. And if it starts to reverse because things can happen, comments come out, news happens, all of those could change the direction of your trade. So just take the profits out and book your profits. Next day, you can move on to the next trade. But do not force your trades to go longer than they want to go. The flip side of that though is that you do want to make sure you let your trades run for a bit. This is slightly longer term trading so you want to make sure you enter the trade and then walk away. So you let the trade do what it needs to do. So you want the price to move and get to your profit target. So put the trade on and walk away. Do not sit there and stare at it like mother hen watching the eggs hatch. Now we spent 45 minutes of our time on preparation. At the end of the day, you do want to take about 15 minutes and reflect back on what happened during the day. So you want to take a look at how the markets behaved. What are some of the lessons that you learned that day? What trade setups were present that you noticed after the fact perhaps, and you did not take so that you can then ingrain this information in your brain and you're able to take those setups the next time. So this process is about preparation as well as reflection. And those are the two key areas that we need to focus on. First, we go in and prepare well, and then we do a post-market review to take a look at what worked, what did not work, what setups were present, how did the markets behave, what moved the markets, and what are some of the things we need to keep in mind. So you can spend about 10 minutes or so doing this, and then you got five minutes left to manage your trades. Don't over trade, but also do not choke your trades and try to get out of them before they are matured. So that's how I've been able to double my account while trading just an hour a day. So give this a try for 30 days and let me know what kind of results you get from it. That's it for today. I'll see you next time. If you want consistency in your trading, we invite you to join our daily market analysis calls where we provide the levels to find the best entries and targets on an intraday basis. For a one-week free trial, please visit www.tradingwithvenus.com. Thanks for joining us today. With much gratitude, your show host, Raman Gill.